As National Heart Month comes to a close, a team of cardiologists in Fort Collins is celebrating heart health in pets as well as people. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas on that story in the fort tonight. Dylan, veterinary cardiologists at the school seem to have a real soft spot for those pets with heart disease. And Jim, not just because their job kind of requires them to do so. You know, one out of every 10 cats or dogs ends up with heart disease of some sort within its lifetime. Here at CSU's Vet Teaching Hospital, there are seven staff members on the cardiology team who have pets at home who have heart disease. Some even have multiple. It's safe to say CSU's cardiologists have a heart for hearts. We're the heart group here at CSU. For a team that spends their every day treating and researching cats and dogs with heart concerns. No, I didn't think I would be talked into adopting one. After 40 years on the job. The first dog I've ever owned that had a heart defect even though I've been treating heart disease for a long time. Dr. Chris Orton's pup, Jacques, is one of more than seven pets within the cardiology team that lives with heart disease. The rescue asked me if I would consider adopting him, and in a moment of weakness, I said yes. This is Chunk. Even students like Hillary Hammond are following suit. He has lived a pretty long life. Um... February was a month dedicated to heart disease awareness in humans. But for those who deal with the disease in pets, Good boy. their message is to consider adopting a furry friend that others may turn away from. They want to be loved, just like every other pet. I mean, look at that face. And while caring for a pet with heart disease may not be for everyone. I think um, it can be a very rewarding thing to adopt an animal that needs a home. Even though some of these dogs may be destined not to have a long life, I think the group feels they deserve to have a good home. Definitely the case. You know, some of the cardiologists even have cats at home who are living with heart disease. Now, make sure to stay with CBS4 and CBSN Denver in the coming weeks. We're going to tell you about a revolutionary procedure that they're doing right here only at CSU. They're the first in the world to do it, and it could extend some of the lives of some of those animals by months if not years. Live in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Yeah, they are doing amazing work there, Dylan. Thank you.